viewers, my name is Micheline Navatisas and I'd like to welcome you to yet another exciting episode of Aronga Talk. It is the last episode for the year indeed. Now we are joining you live and direct from the Yanisava roadblock that you find between uh, that you find between Swakop and Valves Bay. Today we're gonna bring you some news, updated news, as well as some crime reports so that you are aware of what's happening on around your surroundings. We're also gonna bring you some weather and tides and a, a different segment for today as we are shaking things up a bit because it's the last day of the festive season or I must say December 2021. As you can see the traffic officers here are making sure that all the drivers are complying with the law with the headlamps, headlamps being on. So stay tuned for the calendar. That it's New Year's Eve. Tell us where you're watching us from and share your plans for the New Year's Eve. Stay tuned for the calendar day. news for today. The petrol pump prices in Valves Bay port of entry will remain $15.68 per litre and the price of diesel will remain $15.68 per litre. Fuel pump prices countrywide will also remain unchanged said the Ministry of Mines and Energy. The Ministry said that it had completed the fuel price review for the month of January 2022 and informed the public that after successful success of months of surging global oil prices, the market is now relatively stable. Although still high, the average prices of refined petrol and diesel decreased by 7 US dollars in December 2021, from an average to 91 US dollars in November 2021, to an average of 84 US dollars in December 2021. In addition, the local currency depreciated slightly against the US dollar from an average of 15 Namibian dollars point 53 cents in November 2021 to an average of 15 Namibian dollars point 92 cents, said Andreas Simon, the senior public relations officer for the Ministry of Mines and Energy. Simon added that the, De that the December 2021 fuel price adjustment brought local pump prices on par with the international oil prices. And slight over recoveries are recorded during the month of December 2021. Owing to the aforementioned factors which played out during the month of December, over recoveries were recorded as follows 21.079 cents per litre was recorded on petrol, while 50 diesel recorded an over recovery of 18.96 cents per litre. Moving on to our last story for today. Impact Tank Namibia, in partnership with Startup Namibia, GIZ, and NetBank, concluded a free national matchmaking event hosted in 10 different towns in Namibia. The goal of this nationwide effort was to ensure that the participating 200 startup business owners work away better equipped to expand and grow their business. The initiative aspires to address the challenge of access to entrepreneurship training and financial resources for startup startups through a nationwide matchmaking effort. The program engaged and trained a total of 200 startup business owners in 10 selected towns from five geographical areas for matchmaking with potential funders. The training provided improved business development skills to the participants and increased their readiness to formally present their business to funders. It also creates links to financial institutions. Each matchmaking event accommodated a three-day workshop with the first two days consisting of business from formalization, training, both practical and theoretical. 
these sessions were designed to enhance the participants readiness for growth now if you'd like to read read the full stories don't hesitate to visit our website on www.eranga.com.na stay tuned And now for some crime news. Thieves took full advantage of the fact that Namibians relaxed their guard and were preoccupied with celebrations over the Christmas weekend. A person who allegedly left his home at Ongwadiva on Wednesday to visit the village came home on Christmas Eve and found the windows were open and his possessions scattered. According to the police, a Panasonic radio worth $6,999, two laptops worth $12,000 Namibian dollars, two television sets worth $7,800 Namibian dollars, two smartphones worth $6,000 Namibian dollars, and $4,000 in uh, cash were stolen. The suspects apparently broke a window to gain access to their home. Police have not made any recoveries or arrests related to this incident yet. In another matter, two suspects armed with pistols broke into a home in Otsumuse. They reportedly cut the electric fence, climbed over the boundary wall and removed the burglar bars to the house. The owner of the house was apparently at home. The suspects fired shots at the complainant and stole a Samsung television valued at $20,000 Namibian dollars. No recovery or arrests have been made. Now, on a rather sad note, four men committed suicide. The police are investigating a suicide that occurred in Wanaheda. A man 30 used a wire and hanged himself inside a bar on the property where his room is located. A man 46 used a wire and was found hanging from a tree in Ochiva Rongo. A man 56 believed to be a member of the Namibian Defense Force reportedly committed suicide by shooting himself with a pistol. The police are also investigating a suicide at Divundu after a man 36 was found dead. He allegedly hanged himself inside his girlfriend's room. The deceased did not leave a suicide note. And finally, a 32-year-old man was found in possession of two parts of elephant tusks at Ayushira Balitz in Kavango West on Sunday. The man is said to have offered the tusks for sale without a permit to possess them, which, he issued, uh, which is issued by the Ministry of Environment, Forestry and Tourism. The value of the task is unknown and the suspect appeared in the Rundu Magistrate Court. Another, in another incident, a man was found in possession of an illegal AK-47 assault rifle and cannabis valued at $15 million. He was arrested and appeared in the Okahau Magistrate Court. Another man, 23, was found in possession of 110 Hendrix tablets with an estimated street value of $13,200 million on Sunday. The discovery was made during a police search at a window program. And that concludes your crime update for today.
welcome to the final broadcast for 2021. This is Irongo Talk, and I'm joined by my esteemed colleagues, Adam Hartman, Michelin Navatises, and Kevin Sente. So, uh, it has been a roller coaster year, like all other years before. Uh, Adam, what, what, what stood out for you in this year? Otis, um, since 2020, uh, the world's been shaken uh, by the whole COVID um, pandemic, which has affected millions of people. Yes. And it was not just people outside of Namibia. It affected a lot of Namibians as well with regards to um, so many aspects in their lives. Uh, many people lost loved ones. Mm -hmm. uh, many people lost jobs. Um, and within this period, um, I was one of those people who, who lost my job, yes. uh, was retrenched, uh, but um, uh, managed to still continue working, earning some sort of bread and butter. Uh, we as uh, humans have to do whatever we can uh, to, to move on mm -hmm. um, and make a living. Um, and that, I think a lot of people went through 2021 like that. Yes. It, it's sort of still carrying over the consequences of COVID that broke out in 2020. Uh, but now recently I started with Irungu NMH um, and I'm uh, realized that there is a real working uh, environment and um, I'm excited about that. And for everybody out there, never give up hope. Uh, there is always an opportunity out there and uh, keep your eyes and ears open and um, hopefully uh, the new year will offer you that opportunity to get your foot in the door and uh, start building up your life again. So uh, that's, that's uh, a testimony from my side, it's possible mm -hmm. and I'm very grateful for that. I'm grateful for everybody who, who carried me and assisted me in working and I'm grateful for the work that I have now. That's, that's the, from a personal uh, uh, point of view, that's, yes. that's what stood out. Yes. Um, from a news perspective, I mean, yes. you know, the, uh, the news happens all the time. It doesn't have a, a beginning of the year and an end of the year. Yes. It just continues happening. Non-stop. Uh, exactly. They say life happens while you are planning. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we are here to, to try and uh, bring that news to our, to our readers and to our viewers. And to our listeners um, as best as we can um, a few things stood out uh, I'm just thinking from Namibia's perspective unfortunately and sadly we had that massive uh, Delta COVID wave in the uh, in the middle of the year yes uh, that wreaked havoc uh, yes. you know with our health systems uh, people losing loved ones in, in large quantities in a very short period yeah. you can't ignore that yes uh, but fortunately, during this time, we also saw that vaccinations uh, became available to everybody on the planet. Mm -hmm. um, yes, there have been hiccups and so on, but we are in that process yes. of, of, you know, uh, getting treatment, mm -hmm. uh, finding a solution to the, to the challenge that we are facing. And um, so, yeah, that, that was one, one big uh, aspect that one can't ignore. And then, yeah, there's a lot of things that happened. I'm just thinking also of Namibia's athletes who did very well at the Olympics yes. uh, and other, other uh, sports um, uh, events. We're mm -hmm. thinking of our two uh, sprinters. Mboma. Yeah. And he, yes. And we, we, we got uh, Micah Dickman who did the, um, the boat canoeing. canoeing. Yes. Uh, we have uh, Philip Zeitler who went for the open water and we had um, Jonas Junius yes. who went for boxing. Yes. Now, just being at the Olympics, and representing Namibia is a fantastic thing. So we can carry on. There's a lot of news, mm -hmm. but uh, we'll bring you, the more news is going to happen. We'll bring that to you. Uh, but uh, wishing everybody and all of you a wonderful, blessed 2022. And I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much, Adam. Mm -hmm. Micheline, the only rose amongst <laughs> the thorns. What's, what's, what, what was special for you in this 
2021. So Otis, I must say um, from the news perspective is when COVID hit, we all thought, what now? What's happening? But I must say that it was an eye opener with regards to news because what I personally saw is that everybody became journalists and so many false information was spread from left, right to center, starting from COVID itself. Mm -hmm. So I think um, the media houses in Namibia and the world at large um, had to put in a lot of effort, had to be everywhere and anywhere because many of us were isolated and they were relying on us to provide factual news. Mm -hmm. So I think the media houses and NMH itself uh, firstly did a great job to provide the Namibians and, and the rest of uh, our neighboring countries factual news. Mm -hmm. We were really the frontline workers, as, 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 as the regulation said, the frontline workers were journalists and um, the health workers. So I think we can uh, pat, uh, pat ourselves on the shoulders and give a thumbs up to ourselves because we really did well. Um, there was so many lows. It actually felt like when COVID hit, it felt like death was just a normal thing because you were busy mourning for this person and then the next minute your loved one, some again, a loved one of yours yes. is taken. So um, what I learned from that is we really need to be grateful for, um, for being alive, for waking up every day because that in itself is a blessing. There are so many people that left us during yes. 2021, but I must say that um, I'm grateful that I am still here and, and that we are still here and that we can, we can impact, um, impact lives. Um, it doesn't matter how little it is, but unfortunately that's our jobs. We need to um, deliver proper news. We need to um, make a change, not just in Namibia, but try and um, get out of our comfort zone. So I, I am really grateful. Um, we really didn't know where and what with regards to schools. We saw so many changes, but I must say we are doing a proper job. We are trying and uh, standing together to solve this giant that COVID has brought amongst us. So I am really grateful and I am excited to see what 2020 will bring um, with regards to the news we have. We saw that we tried to tackle all the angles. We tried to be, we, most of the media houses, I think the challenge was being digital yes. because that was the only thing that we, as I said before, we were relying on. So I think we, we, we quickly we went with change. We, we amended and we are doing a great job. So thumbs up to uh, NMH and to the rest of the media houses. Let us hold hands together and see what we can do for 2022. Thank you so much, uh, Michelle. Now, uh, no more stranger in the house <laughs> all the way from Germany. Yes, thank you very much. First of all, very cool points that you um, uh, talked about, uh, especially also the thing about false information. I think that's something very, very important we've seen this year, but also the year before, but it's growing and growing. And I think um, it's uh, getting more and more important to do quality journalism. And for me this year, that was a big uh, step further into the door. Uh, I mean, it was kind of already had the foot maybe in a bit, but now I've, uh, this year I've gained a lot of experience. I've done some very amazing, interesting stories and of course read about them as well. Now, I mean, beginning of the year, I was still in Germany and we were facing a very, very long lockdown. But even in this time, uh, very interesting things happened. Germany finally acknowledged um, what happened during the colonial peri um, period as um, crimes and as genocide. And I think that's a very important step. Way too many people um, can't even pronounce the word Namibia in Germany. And uh, there, there's, uh, far, there, there's not enough talked about the colonial history of Germany. And I think it's a very good step to actually thinking about what happened, to remembering it, and to make sure that uh, these mechanisms that uh, colonialism has built and, and that are still persisting decades later, a uh, hundred years later, that those are finally um, broken down more and more until we finally have, um, until we are finally free of the influences it has brought. Mm -hmm. um, apart from that, I'm also very happy to be here at the moment. At the moment, Germany is looking at a very, very, um, harsh COVID situation and uh, to those people I also say stay strong, um, keep it going and uh, I hope that 2022 will then hopefully 
bring us uh, some relief of all the stress that has come upon us. Um, it will also be very interesting um, now in Germany that a major political world figure has left the stage. Angela Merkel has quit yes. this year. Yes. Um, so I just want, also want to mention that, that we're looking at a Germany that will transition and um, I'm interested to see also how that will affect the cooperation with Namibia that is still very strong and still has a lot of good coming out of it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Kevin. Uh, then finally, uh, to all our colleagues uh, at NMH, you'll see that uh, we haven't been a full team for some time now. Leandria, hello. Uh, Irena Marie, Liana and Zekabonjo, uh, and those that went on holiday. Uh, keep safe, uh, look after yourselves. Uh, our colleagues uh, in the media, we, we rely on one another to keep the nation informed. Let's, let's keep that going. And then uh, I think finally, uh, to the whole of Namibia, we just uh, want to say a prosperous or wish you all out there a prosperous uh, uh, 2022 uh, uh, and uh, hopefully we will get the better of, of, of this uh, COVID pandemic. Yeah, so uh, Adam, we, we need to, to, to conclude this uh, officially. Yeah. yeah. Can, 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 can you pop the champagne for us, please? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> this is as close to drinking that I get, but uh, happy 2022. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs>
So, ons kep een groot mark vir aller mense. En nou wat ons vir december doen, is kort vlug is, juist vir die local, so dat ons, ons eie mense kan betrek, nie net afhankelijk is van die buitenlanders nie, maar dat ons kan aangaan en groei met ons mense in ons eie land, Suid-Afrikaners, Botswana, Zimbabweers, allemaal wat inkom om vir ons te ondersteun. Um, so ons het die december of vir die feestseisoen tyd het ons hierdie 15 minute vlugte wat dan van langstrand af uitgaan oor die kuslijn, een ongelooflike mooie kuslijn wat ons het hier tegen Namibia oor swak op moend um, waar jy al hierdie mooie architectuur um, gebouwe sal sien, die duinbelt so dit is rarig iets om elkeen iets in die en dit is net genoeg om um, dit te ervaar wat de helikopter vir jou kan gee dit gaan jou lus maak om net nog langer te wil doen en ek het gedere gaste wat vir my sê weet um, dit is te kort, dit voel ons as een vakantie, hy is altyd net te kort <laughs> sê vir my, uh, hoeveel, hoeveel kost so'n vlug vir jou? Um, die helikopter vat een maximum van 3 persoene so as ons uh, vol vlug het dan vir so 15 minuten is dit 9 170 rand wat ons het en dan het ons ook natuurlijk een combo wat um, gecombineerd is met Dare Devil Adventures wat ons vir 15 minuten vlug doen met een uur quad bike um, op die duine, so jy ervaar het uit die lichtheid en jy ervaar het op die duine um, en dit is rarig baie billig jy moet ook drie mensen wees, dan kan jy dan is 1320 per persoon en soos ek sê ons vat een maximum van drie persoon al. natuurlijk as het 6 mensen is of 9 mensen is, dit is dan net back to back wat ons dit doen, yeah. maar dit is moendlik, dit is, dit is moendlik, dit is nie dat, as, dit moet nou vir jou afskrik, as jy 6 mense is, en jy, of 5 mense, ons doen die vluchten na mekaar, dit werk baie goed uit, en na, na die tyd kan hulle gaan met die, heliko, ach, met die um, kwad baie grit uit, ja. ja sê, ons, ons weet, ons kom uh, uit die baie moeilik, ons is nog steeds in die baie moeilike tyd, hoe het hierdie pandemie vir julle, wat nou met toerisme deel en so aan geraak? Ons het wel probeer kop oor water hou, dit is nie aldag makkelijk nie, maar um, ek denk as een mens een span het wat achter mekaar staan, maak het dit nogal makkelijk om elke dag positief op te staan. En ons het wel, ons het drie helikopters en gewoonlik het ons een helikopter wat gebaseer is in Swak op Munt en twee wat in um, Sosus Fly opereid vir die toeriste. Laas jaar wat ons in lockdown gekom het, het ons al drie in ons hanger ingetrek, hulle het geslaap tot laas jaar 14. december, wat ons een helikopter uitgehaal het, en die 8. mei het ons die tweede ene uitgehaal, en um, die derde ene staan ongelukkig nog, hy het nog nie genoeg, het was nog nie genoeg bezigheid om die derde ene ook actief te kry nie, um, ons het gemiddeld van so 60 tot 90 ure per helikopter gevlieg voor wat die pandemie ons getref het. So nou begin een mens um, weer met baba triekies aangaan, um, maar soos ek sê, met een span wat ons het, um, maak het dit juist moendlik dat ons kon deurgedruk het, nie al die mense kon deurgekom het met die COVID nie. Um, ons is gesien in die manier dat ons kon sê, ok, ons is waar ons vandag staan. En ons kon ook gesien het dat het definitief Zodra die mense begin gemakkelijk raak het om weer te kan travel, het het begin optel en die, 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 um, ek denk die mense wil uit die hoek uitkom wat hulle altijd vastgeval was. Um, en natuurlijk glo en vertrouw ons maar dat die virus omself sal uitwis, so dat allemaal net weer, nie net in Namibie nie, maar allemaal weer normale leven kan beleef en kan voel wat het is om te travel en te explore. Sorry dat ek dit Engels beskryf, maar dit is dis wat vir jou die, die, die concept geef van hoe, wat die mense kan ervaar en die avontuur wat hulle kan doen. Um, so ons geloof vertrouw dat dit volgende jaar ook nog beter sal gaan. Ons, soos ek sê, ons vraag maar net ook vir die mense om nie moed te verloor nie, hou hoop en laat ons dan saam voor en toe gaan, ek meen, dit klink baie, maar bedarf jou eerder, want dit voel soos een vakantie, so, um, as een mens jou bedarf met so vlug, jy, dit, jy hoef jy kaars als kink te wees, jy kan een verjaarsdag wees, of net om jezelf beter te laat voel, dit maak, dat jy weer morgen opstaan, en die dankie sê, dat jy kan opstaan daarvoor, ja. Nou, wat is jou boodskap aan my beers? Um, dat hulle moet definitief, hulle koppe boe water hou, en, um, saamstaan, ons het een baie, baie mooi geseende land, goeie mense, klein populatie, maar groot hart, ek sal altyd sê, soos een SA taxi, plek vir nog, ja. om te laai, en, net so, net so, en ek, 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 ek sien, 
as ons so met buitenlanders praat en um, Suid-Afrikaners en allemaal wat so uit, uit hulle hart uit praat om te sê hoe ge, verwelkom hulle voel in Namibia en ek denk dit is iets wat ons rarig moet bly vast gehou en um, dit nie laat gaan nie, dat ons as mense moet saamstaan en saam ons land na kyk, um, nie dit besoedel nie, ondersteun die mense wat jy kan ondersteun en soos ek sê, um, wees net een community, moet nie wil snaaks wees en sê, ach daai is nou dit of daai is nou dat nie, staan en doen dit alles as een, um, een persoon, want dit is wat ons hier in Namibie is, dit is wat to, so mooi maak van ons land is, dat ons een is, ja. Nou daar het jylle, dames en heren, as jy lis het vir avontuur en jy wil dinge van een ander perspektief, ons prachtige land uit een ander perspektief bekyk, wat die leerhelikopters is vir jou die plek om naartoe te kom. Jy kry vir hulle hier tussen Swakop en Langstrand. Ons is hier by Daredevil Adventures hier op Langstrand, um, so dit is so 15 kilo's uit Swakop uit, 15 kilo's uit, Walvis uit, so lekker in die middel en soos ek sê, dit is ons wat hier so is met die quad bikes en as jy net bykie jou voete wil gaan nat maak, kan jy net oorstap die pad en dan kan jy in die see met jou voete kom. So ja, kom besoek ons gerust asjeblief. Baie dankie. Baie dankie.
Hello and a wonderful final morning of the year 2021. My name is Kevin Santi. I'm here with Micheline today. Micheline, what's up? How was the year? The year was fantastic. Just one word, fantastic. All right. Against all odds, fantastic. <laughs> all right. Good mood and optimistic for the next year. Very nice. So for today, we are looking at a weather and in Walfus Bay, we will see a maximum of 21 degrees. And tomorrow, for the first day, a maximum of 22 degrees and a minimum of 14 degrees. The sun rose at 19 past 6 and it will dive at 9 to, <coughs> 9 to 8. The wind is coming from the southwest and 13 kilometers per hour. And for do those spending New Year's on the beach and not wanting to be washed away with the tides, the first high tide was at 13.35, the first low tide at 10 past 7. The next high tide will be at 2 hours past midnight, 2 hours into the next year, mm -hmm. and the next low tide will be at 11 minutes to 8. Micheline, how is it right here in Swakopmund? So for Swakopmund, the sun was out 20 minutes past 6, and also at 10 minutes to 8. Swakopmund will experience a maximum of 20 degrees Celsius with a minimum of 14 and a maximum of 22 degrees Celsius predicted for tomorrow. The southwest wind will prevail with a speed of 13 kilometers per hour. Now for the fishes, the first high tide will be 14 minutes to 2 just now now, whereas the second one will be 2 o'clock, so tomorrow morning on New Year's Day. The first low tide was 10 minutes past 7 in the morning, whereas the second one will be 10, 11 minutes to 8 o'clock later today. So you still have time. You still All have right. time. Over to Hentys Bay. In Hentys Bay, you also still have time. The sun arose at 22 minutes past 6 and will dive at 10 to 8. The maximum for today is 20 degrees and the maximum is also 20 degrees for tomorrow. The minimum for tomorrow is 14 degrees. The wind comes from south-southwest at 11 kilometers per hour. The first high tide was at 13.38, mm -hmm. the first low tide at 12 minutes past 7. The next high tide will also be at 2 o'clock and the next low tide at 9 minutes to 8. Micheline, let's move further inland. Definitely. So for Arandas, the sun was out 18 minutes past 6 and also 12 minutes to 8. Arandas will experience a maximum of 29 degrees Celsius, so it's, Arandas is coming in hot. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> With a minimum of 11 and a maximum of 30 degrees Celsius predicted for tomorrow. A west wind will prevail with a speed of 13 kilometers per hour. How does Karibab Usakos look like? Usakos, yes. Usakot is hot, hot, hot. 35 degrees maximum for today, 37 for tomorrow. The minimum will be 12 degrees for tomorrow. The sun arose at 17 minutes past 6 and will set at 16 minutes to 8. The wind is coming from the southwest at 11 kilometers per hour. So for Karibab, the sun was out 16 minutes past 6 and also at 17 minutes to 8. Karibab is very hot, I must say. Kevin, it's experiencing maximum 35 degrees Celsius, so just 5 degrees to 40 degrees. I think that's really hot. With a minimum of 12 and a maximum of 37 degrees Celsius predicted for tomorrow, so 2 degrees hotter. 
a west southwesterly wind will prevail with a speed of 13 kilometers per hour. And how does Omaruru look like? Oh, I hope Omaruru will not melt tomorrow because tomorrow it's going to be 38 degrees. Can you believe sure, it? Sure, that's a minimum too of, much. It is too much. A minimum of 13 degrees. Today it's just a bit cooler at 36, but still, I mean, insane. You poor people in Omaruru. Oh my. The sun rose at 16 minutes past 6 and will set at 19.42. The wind is coming from west-southwest at 11 kilometers per hour. My, 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 it's, it's really going to be a sweaty first well, day of the year. Definitely, definitely. But uh, thank you. That was our weather report for, for today. And Happy New Year's to our viewers. See you in 2022. <laughs> <laughs>Come to the end of our lovely episode for today as I, as I said earlier it's New Year's Eve so please let us be responsible the fertilities numbers have been looking good quite so far so let us maintain that number also let's be responsible if you know that you drank or had just a little sip please stay away from the steering wheel let us save lives one life is already a lot to lose so if you'd like to share your clips with us or some news with us please don't hesitate to send your footage to our whatsapp and telegram number which is 0811 7040 i repeat 0811 7040 and if you'd like to read one of our stories and many more don't uh, don't forget to go on to our website which is www.erongot.com.na i repeat www.erongot.com.na and also if you'd like to watch our erongo i know you can't get enough of our erongo talk episodes please don't hesitate to visit our online tv channel which is oneup2.com i repeat oneup2 so stay safe, enjoy the New Year's Eve and we'll catch you again next week.
without a cause And boy, what is it for you're on this trace And what's got your mind occupied every day you never see Let me take you for a ride And then I'll take you straight to the afterlife You'll see Heaven on earth it'll be Show you sounds and colors all so new.